I do. I love this type of work between the setup, the mechanical electrical setup, running the machine, getting into the software. There's always something different to do and something new to learn and it's great work. What do you guys know about laser welding and laser cleaning? If you know not a lot, come talk with me. However, I'm with Logan today and I'm about to learn a ton here at EMAG on this ELC 250 Duo where we can simultaneously weld and clean at the same time. Logan, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Let's learn some more about this machine. All right, yeah. So here we have the ELC 250 Duo, like you said. This machine can be used for laser cleaning or laser welding. We can simultaneously clean and weld parts in this machine, or also we can connect an external laser cleaner and weld two parts at the same time in this machine. So Logan, talking about laser welding and laser cleaning, let's talk about just laser cleaning for a moment and the importance of laser cleaning and why a customer might want to utilize both in the same system. Yeah, laser cleaning is a great machine solution. Um, a lot of customers like to utilize this into the welding process. They like to have the laser cleaning before the welding. This can get rid of any RP residuals or washer residuals that might be left on the part and these could cause porosity and major weld issues if you don't get them cleaned properly. So the laser cleaning burns all this off the surface and gets rid of it for the laser welding. Perfectly said, Logan. I appreciate that insight. So now as we move into laser welding, what are some of the benefits of utilizing a system like this in laser welding? Yeah, the benefits of laser welding are we can get quick cycle times, we have great repeatability with these machines, and we, on a machine like this, you can weld simultaneously, get two parts going at the same time, and you can fully integrate this machine with a laser cleaning station, and also gauges and ultrasonic stations that we'll talk about later. So actually, let's talk about that right now, Logan, because I get very excited. The system that you have set up in many places, I mean, really, imagination is almost limitless when it comes to what can be done. We're talking where we're standing might be some sort of robot, right? At the end, we'll be able to do measurements and quality control inspections as well. Describe that system for the audience when they think, okay, I'm going to go with laser cleaning, laser welding. What else can I do on this EMAG machine to be completely autonomous and know that when the part comes off at the end, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, basically a great way to set up a machine like this would be to fully automate it with the conveyor. You would have the part come in, do the laser cleaning, go into the welding station, you would do the welding, and then after the welding you could have your gauges set up and you can check things like run out. We have an ultrasonic check, which is a non-destructive testing, and this checks for cracks in, in the weld seam, and then the conveyor can bring the part back out to the operator and unload it. So all this can be done with just a simple loading and unloading and the machine does all the work in between. Well, fun fact for you, Logan, and not just necessarily in laser welding, but welding as a whole has over a 400,000 person skills gap currently. So machines like this are not only wanted, but they're needed to allow people to get back to things that they want to do and allow machines like this to do the repetitive stuff like and also maybe remove some of the dangerous aspects as well and allow us to do what we love with a bit more safety. Do you see that to be true with these machines also? Yeah, most definitely. Obviously, when you're working with any CNC machine, there is um, safety concerns. You got to take precautions, but our machines are very safe. We have, you see here on the, the doors, these switches, if those are open, you can't run the machine. It, it's integrated to where as soon as one of those is open, it, it won't allow you to run the machine. So if someone's in there working, the machine's just not moving on you. Or if someone even wants to come over and try to start the machine while the door's open, it, it wouldn't operate. And when you're just standing outside the machine and watching it run, yeah, it's a pretty safe process. It's so much safer than how this type of welding used to be done decades ago, right? So thank you for doing that. Now, when we're talking about this machine, you talked about a lot of the processes, being able to run maybe with one operator, being able to run autonomously, being able to run through the night repetitively, simultaneous uh, welding and cleaning at the same time. But let's talk about the system that we have right beside us, right? This uh, laser welding monitoring system we have. What, what's going on here? 
Yeah, in the laser well monitor system, it's good for a couple of things. One thing we can use it for is to know when to do maintenance on our welding head. Um, we see different things like the temperature of the welding head and the degree of pollution that is on our cover glasses in our welding head. So we can use this to know, hey, we have to change the cover glass or so we're seeing high heat, maybe we need to have our welding head serviced. The second thing we can use the laser weld monitor for is to watch the process control. And what I mean by that is while the parts are welding, this can detect when we have things such as porosity or when we have things like uh, loss in laser power or lack of fusion. These are all things that you might not see by a visual inspection and this would catch those and reject those parts. Logan, do you get excited about this kind of technology? Most definitely. <laughs> you and me both, my friend. I mean, something like this, uh, we're, we're removing the danger from the people who used to have to weld this on their own. We're being able to simultaneously machine, starting with conveyors or robots or wherever we want to implement the full 24 hours, seven days a week type machining. And then on top of that, you're pulling it off the machine where it's already done its measurements. And now we're talking the software where it's gauging when something will go bad so we don't always have to focus on that. I mean, back in my day of machining, I would break things all the time. I didn't have this type of situation, so this is incredible technology. Do you also love this type of work? I do, I love this type of work. Um, between the setup, the mechanical electrical setup, running the machine, getting into the software, there's always something different to do and something new to learn, and it's great work. So Logan, Let's go talk about what happens after the weld now, shall we? So Logan, what do we have here? What are we standing in front of now? Yeah, thanks for asking. Here we have our ultrasonic machine. It's a form of non-destructive testing. So it's a very simple machine. The, we have an axis here and it comes down and picks up our part and it simply moves the part to the sensor and the part will do a 360 degree rotation over that sensor and then based on that reading, it goes to our software we have on the screen and it can tell us if we have cracks in our weld seam and things like this. It really feels like from beginning to end, you're constantly monitoring what's going on in the process. You're cleaning it, you're welding it, you're uh, measuring it, making sure everything's, there's no cracks, you put it, it's just, over and over and over again, making sure these customers get exactly what they want when the parts come off the machine. Yes, most definitely. We want to ensure our quality and make sure that we're giving good welds to our customers. Well, Logan, I am a little bit smarter today thanks to you. I'm learning more and more every day about laser welding, laser cleaning, and thanks to Logan, you guys are as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Logan, thank you for sharing your wisdom with the audience. Yeah, thank you.